Hi, can you believe that the beloved sitcom Please Sir was released 55 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to our TV screens. So today, let's take a trip down memory lane. Sit on a chair with your family and rewatch the TV series with the entire cast of Then and Now. Let's see what these actors are up to now, who has made it to the top of Hollywood, and who, sadly, has passed away. Joan Sanderson. Joan Sanderson, born on November 24, 1912 in Bristol, England, portrayed the character Doris Evo in the sitcom when she was 56 years old in 1968. Unfortunately, she passed away in 1992 at the age of 79. Hey, Doris, I could kiss you. I'm saying more from a sense of duty than one of optimism, and we'll dispense with the kissing, I think. He Ned's Richard II, Henry four, five, six, then who? Edward four, five, Dick the Bad, Harris Twain, and Ned the Lad. Mary Bessie, James the Vane, Charlie, Charlie, James again. William and Mary, Anna Gloria, four daughters, William and Victoria. God Barbara Mitchell was born on October 4th, 1929, in Northampton, England. She portrayed the character Madge Smith in the sitcom when she was 41 years old in 1970. Sadly, she passed away in 1977 at the age of 48. Well, that's understandable with your legs coming from your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, of course, um, they John Alderton was born on November 27, 1940, in Gainsborough, Lincolnshire, England. He portrayed the character Bernard Hedges in the sitcom when he was 28 years old in 1968. He is now living happily at the age of 82. They're in detention, Mr. Potter. They've been kept behind for annoying other people. What's the fancy dress for, anyway? What's the rush? I don't want to miss the f Enough to wear. <laughs> All right, all right. Yeah, perhaps we ought to get back to Maisie Hornby on a pony. Perhaps we ought. Mm. Yes, well, anyway. Richard Davies was born on January 25th, 1926, in Dowlace, Glamorgan, Wales. He portrayed the character Mr. Price in the sitcom when he was 42 years old in 1968. Regrettably, he passed away in 2015 at the age of 89. Forget it. Come over the road and I'll uh, buy you a nice, long, cool pint. And I'll introduce you to a new barmaid I've been priming with my irresistible Welsh charm. <laughs> Derek Ilo was born on April 29, 1914, in Winchester, England. He portrayed the character Norman Potter in the sitcom when he was 54 years old in 1968. Sadly, he passed away in 1999 at the age of 85. Hmm? <laughs> now this last term for me has been one long series of blockages. Oh dear. <laughs> so, with the headmaster's permission, I can... And the king and the queen were just a fraction late getting there, so they sat down and they were on the very first row, about, oh, two yards from, from the microphone, I think. And uh, we were told that we were going to... Peter Cleal was born on March 16, 1944, in Finchley, Middlesex, England. He portrayed the character Eric Duffy in the sitcom when he was 24 years old in 1968. He is now living happily at the age of 79. Peace. Still campaigning for non-violence, Duffy. <laughs> I just... ...line, which is very important for the show, you know, because if it gets uh, out of order, the whole thing falls to bits. But we did have fun. That's it. You know, you have a lot. David Barry was born on April 30th, 1943, in Bangor, Wales. He portrayed the character Frankie Abbott in the sitcom when he was 25 years old in 1968. He is now living happily at the age of 80. Ah, oh, honey, I can't come tonight. I've got to go down to doctors with my bad leg, have not I? You might get your yellow streak painted out at the same time. Yeah. I would come out. Damn, boy, this. Um. No, it was the second series she came into because it, it, the first series was in black and white and it was 45 minutes long. Second series started in... ...was born on January 1st, 1948 in Uxbridge, Middlesex, England. She portrayed the character Sharon Eversley in the sitcom when she was 20 years old in 1968. She is now living happily at the age of 75. Uh, going for this new stroke he's learning. You lying hound. You can't swim at all. He was teaching you. I only just got you to float by the looks of things. Noel Howlett was born on December 22nd, 
1902 in Bexley, Kent, England. He portrayed the character Mr. Cromwell in the sitcom when he was 66 years old in 1968. Unfortunately, he passed away in 1984 at the age of 81. No, she said so. With Mr. Mallon of Weaver Street, we're going to talk about the inter-schools boxing. After all, Doris, you know... Eric Chitty was born on July 8, 1907, in Dover, Kent, United Kingdom. He portrayed the character Mr. Smith in the sitcom when he was 61 years old in 1968. Regrettably, he passed away in 1977 at the age of 70. Parents, when I was teaching at Worthing, a uh, very flourishing association we had. We enjoyed many fruitful and often jolly evenings together. Malcolm McPhee was born on August 16, 1949, in Forest Gate, Essex, England. He portrayed the character Peter Craven in the sitcom when he was 19 years old in 1968. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2001 at the age of 51. Who is your favorite character in the sitcom, please, sir? Older than himself, he only qualifies by density. And <laughs> she's look out. Anyway, we've been through this before and I ain't interested. Not even for the school, Duffy. Especially not for the school. Liz Gebhardt on April 12, 1945 in Liverpool, England. She portrayed the character Maureen Bullock in the sitcom when she was 23 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 1996, she passed away at the age of 51. Maureen Bullock, what is the matter with you? You've been niggling all morning. Nothing's the matter with me, Sharon Eversley. It's just that it's a well-known fact that immature girls make it up about... Bob Todd, born on December 15, 1921 in Faversham, Kent, England, is fondly remembered for his role as the boating lake attendant. He was a mature talent of 47 years when he first endeared himself to audiences in this role in 1968. Tragically, we lost this accomplished actor in 1992 when he was 70 years old, a loss that deeply touched all who appreciated his work. <laughs> What could you call in number 32? What do you think I'm doing? Impersonating Rudy Belly? <laughs> hush, hush, that somebody else's name was on the book. Yes. Whose name did they tell you? They told me it was Barry Cryer. <laughs> you thought it was Barry If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're interested in this type of content, you can also subscribe. This is Turn Back Time, and we hope you have a great day. Yes, I could kiss you. I'm saying more from a sense of duty than one of optimism, and we'll dispense. <laughs> now, this last term for me has been one long series of blockages. Oh, dear. <laughs>